morning everyone i'm here to draw month five so i have my which ones were in here background and embellishments here so let's get cracking there aren't too many left there now there's two choices in that one okay so we have favorite color and beautiful birds Favourite colour and beautiful bird. So that's what you need to work on for this month. And we are nearly at the end of the project. So I hope you um, like that theme. And I can't wait to get cracking. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Rachel here. And uh, you will have just seen the draw uh, for to this month. It's really exciting. And I know lots of you will be excited about it. Is um, favourite colour and beautiful birds. I'm just, you're seeing this because I did finish it. And I wanted to show you that I did quilt the background. And uh, so I'll tell you, I followed along the lines here and here. And then um, down the center there. Did I miss any? No. And then I went around the house as well and around the edge as well. And you can see on the back that it is quilted. Um, so that way, because you know I had a brain fluff um, and forgot that I was supposed to have um, quilted background. So I've done it, and that way I didn't tell a lie. And I just wanted to grab my book to see where we're at quickly before I get on with the, the next one. Um, I have pinned them in, and I will go ahead and stitch the ones that aren't stitched. So this one's pinned in here. I like those together. I switched it because you can switch them around. You don't have to have them in. Or this one is going to go here. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little something down the edge there. And then this one will go here. Now it's a little bit uh, short, so I think I might put a fabric, actually I think I'll put a fabric at the top up here. So that's gonna go in there and I'm liking the colors. I think what I like are the greens and I think these blues go with this one as well. So yep, I'm really happy with that. And then we'll be ready for the next month. So I'll just fold that in there. Um, and I'll put something up there, I'm not sure what yet. Okay, so that's where we're at with the book. Okay, so favourite colour for me, can you guess what it is? Blue. So I've got my piece here. I have pulled out some blue fabrics and we're going to have a play. And I might do in one little bit some fabric weaving. Now this is just a dyed piece of um, blue fabric. I, I can't even remember where I bought it from, but I was thinking I'd use that. And I might even just rip down there oh it's tough it's a linen it's really tough i don't know how what the technique of dyeing was and this is just a piece of you know that um i think i bought it from lulu retro quite a while ago um i've got i'll just show you all the different fabrics i put i pulled out all kinds of things um because I don't know what I've got to use. I think I've used a bit of that already. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and then I, of course, you know, I love the blues and the sort of bit more, they're not quite raspberry, but the more raspberry sort of reds um, together. So I pulled out all of these. I've even got some painted fabric that I did a long time ago. Um, not that one. Uh, this is a favorite fabric with the blues. And then the, I love these fabrics. And that one, obviously I've got too much here um, for my project, but, oh, and I had a piece here with the buttonholes. That's interesting. Um, but I'm going to just do my background and I'm also thinking I'm going to do a little bit of fabric weaving. So let's see. Um, I don't have any idea, no idea whatsoever. I think I like that. So I just make sure it overlaps and then put a snip here and a snip up there in a very awkward fashion. I might just rip it right across. Oops. Um, I have no idea what my composition is going to be at all. So we can't talk about that today, but I'm just going to start playing around with fabrics. I also love this one. But I don't want both of those. Um, let's see what else is here. Oh, this one. I think I put a bit of this in. 
So I'm going to be pre my background is predominantly blue with the touches of red. I might just have a little strip of that one. I'll use this piece over here. And this is how I measure, just over make sure they overlap and then do a little rip and trim that off. I can use that for something else. And then here I'm going to do my fabric weaving, I think. So I'm going to need, that's only just going to make it. I wanted to use that. Now I'm going to cut some strips, not too wide. I thought I could use this piece. Let's see, I uh, might just make it. Excuse me. Oh, look, would you just get off me? There you go, nick off. Okay, so how is everyone today? Hope you're well. We are well. And, oh gosh, this is the status quo with the weather. And I'm concerned that it might, um, don't have to have them all the same length, obviously. Here's another piece. This piece has got a bit more. I might take... I might take this bit here. That one. Um, and I would like, I would like, or maybe a piece of this one, because I have to go the other way as well. So anything that's too short can go in the other direction. Now, this is a very fragile fabric. Um, and I'd like a bit of hemp, I think. And I'd like a bit of this. Let's see if I can get a bit of this. So what have I got? I wouldn't do that. Look at those. I love those. How did I do that? Hmm. Anyway, I think I'm going to use this stripey bit down here. This is just an old vintage piece of, um, what do you call it? Oh, I know how I did that. I made a stamp. Okay, I'm just going to get a variety of pieces and then we can get cracking with it. Um, I need to get some light up. So let me see. Uh, that could go down that way. That one's not going to be long enough. Oh, wait, I've got more. But wait, there's more. Oh, this piece was good. This can go down the other way. I'm just vaguely cutting them. The same length. Now, I apologise if they start bashing because the bashes are here. That could be good. Um, they are next door. So, um, and then let me just hop up for a second and grab a piece of hemp. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be quiet, dog. Oops. Mm, all kinds of. All manner of fabrics and I might you know reject some things we don't know we don't know what's gonna make the cut Get that one okay so let's what I'm gonna do is just move this I'll pin these down I think these are, are gonna be locked in for the moment and they'll just be invisible stitched on if now anyone who's new oh well I'll show you quickly the start of it but I did do it in my very first video when I was we did our first reveal in January I showed how to do the invisible stitch which is a really great stitch and it also gives a very nice look to your fabric um, I did do tacking I may tack today I don't know I haven't yes I might tack today might be easier um, but I'll just move that aside because I want to work on my weaving. So I'm going to take my longer bits and see how we go with those. Just alternating. It's a little bit fiddly to start off with, but then it does 
sort of start to come together. I think I might like that one up there. There. And this one there. That's going to be going to be tall enough it is yes okay so that's that way and then we've got to weave in the other way and that's not going to be long enough hmm. so I might have to go you know grab some other none of these are long well actually I can trim a bit off because it's too big so I can actually just trim well I'll trim that afterwards but I am going to trim off the white bit so it doesn't it's not going doesn't have to be perfect so then what you do is put your fabric stairs and decide what's over and what's under over and under okay so that's the first lot and have I made any boo-boos where's my pins gone oh I used them. well that's funny isn't it so what I'm going to do, because they've got the benefits of this wonderful, um, while I'm weaving, this wonderful mat that I can just stick pins in. Okay. And that just holds it for me. Now, well, I thought I had all these pieces, but I didn't, did I? Well, that one will make it then, won't it? That way. So I need to start over. And I'll put a pin in it so it stays in place. And then go under. And then over. And then stick a pin in it. And then go under and over. That's how that one works. And just slide them across. Just jiggle them a little bit till they go into place. And we'll stick a pin in here. Okay. Right, another strip. Um, I might not even like it, you know. That's not long enough. I would even weave that in. Let's have a look here. I could no, that's too strong. Um, I think I'll grab. I'm going to hop up and grab a different hemp. I might use a piece of this. Even not there though. I'm very. In, it seems like I'm very indecisive, doesn't it? I'm just trying to see what else I've got here. Nope, right, I'm going to grab some hemp. Oh, what about some twile? Oh, we could use a piece of this, my printed out thing. Let's just have a piece of this could go in. Let's just tear it. Let's see if I like that. It might be. No, it's a bit dull, that one. I won't use that one. I do like this. Is that going to be long enough that way? Just. Well, I should just tear it up. I'll tear. If, well, if I take that off, this will be right, I think. I'll probably mess it up. Okay, so under, over, put a pin. Where's my pins here? And I might not like all the colour. I might decide I need shades of beige. Mm -hmm. That could happen. That's it. Now I want to grab which is fun to do. I need that one. Oh. I'm going to grab this here. I do that one. Or oh, this one, I love this one. Let's do this one. So 
that over. Let's pin it so it doesn't move about too much. Okay, and then we just need one more little bit. And I may have made it, you know, way too long. I think I'd like this. So under. There we go. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so now what I do is the invisible stitches just pop, put, oh my goodness, I have to tidy up all those fabrics now. Ugh. Happen, it's a forever happening thing. Okay, so then I've got to get um, thread up my recording, yes. Oh, that's what I used to quilt my other one. It's just a lovely DMC wool. I just wanted not that needle. I need a thinner needle. Okay, and I'm going to have to very carefully lift this and pin it. So I'm going to take my pins out and I'm just going to lift them up like so and Oops, this is what happens. You don't want it to crinkle up or anything like that. It is a little bit of a fiddly thing, but it, I love the look of it. So pin it all together especially around the ends. And make sure it stays flat. So I'm pinning all my bits together at the ends. Let's grab this one and pin that in there. Oh, stab myself. Oh gosh, that's pathetic. Here's a bent one. Oh, and that's meant to go under. So I need to pin that. Yep, you need to hold all your edges. Now that's crinkling up. I don't like that. Let's see if I've got a straight one. I've pinned it to my to my mat. Now this is where I have to sort it out a little bit. And there, this is why you want to pin all of your edges. And that one. Got a few more to catch. This one, it's all flat. And I need to catch this lace. Okay, now I could decide that to then take this over here and pin it. On here it's a bit big I don't want it that big I don't think and I do like it I might what I might do is take this off and have that coming over the edge there pin it 
in that. Then in that. So it is going to cover it a little bit, but that is fine. Now that one, I just need to pull it a little bit. Okay, I am gonna. I will leave some of those, but also trim some of them off. Um, I just want to see here where my end is. So I'll lose some of this as well. Probably quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to go along and pin those in place. Are you catching it? Yes. And it gives me a nice, then um, sort of secure surface to stitch on. Now here, I did want to have this coming over, but it's under that. Let's see. So yes, I need to have that over. So I need to switch this out. It's okay. That's like that, and then that's going to be like that. And I don't like that edge there, but I'll have something coming down there. We'll, we'll do something there. And I might even have this up over. Oh, yes, I like that. Let's do that. Then we have this here. It's not as fiddly as it seems. Once you get going and you get it sort of secured, it does start to sort of work out like that coming over. So then it looks like this is part of the woven piece. And you'll see it'll all come together more when the stitching starts to happen. That is supposed to be over. No, it's supposed to be under. Excuse me. That one needs a pin. Pinned. Yeah. So that is my background coming together, and then it still needs to have bits trimmed off. But that's okay. We'll put this up here. Right. So I've got this ready, but I should get my tacking. Um, will I tack? No, I'm not going to tack today. Right. To do my invisible stitch, I'm going to start here in the center ish. And you do a little teeny tiny stitch. So you go down next to where you came up. See, you can't even see the stitch. I might zoom in a bit, just a sec. And I'm gonna bring the arm down. So sorry, I might zoom out again. Okay, and I'm bring it, sorry. Bit of adjustment happening here. Bring it down a bit closer. So that way I can see if I'm on screen. Okay, right. So here I am. I'm going down next to where I came up. I could have done a longer stitch than that. And shoot across. See little teeny tiny stitches. It's worth doing, it's worth taking the time, and it's actually very relaxing. And um, it also just makes your life so much easier afterwards. It makes your fabrics behave as one and not as individual pieces. Now, if you had the tacking in there, you wouldn't have the, the bother of the pins. So I'm just going to make sure I catch these bits here. Okay. 
you can see how annoying the, the pins are. So I can take that pin out. And you can't see, hardly see the little stitches. And I'm even using, here I'm going a little bit closer because I want to catch the edge of my strip there. Um, even though I'm using like an ecru or off-white colour thread, um, you can barely see the stitches. Now, I've done my first row, but what I want to do is just put it down and assess that nothing's sort of, um, check, not assess, that nothing is sort of um, bulking up. And then I'm going to come back the other way. And I want to start um, locking in this um, woven piece. So always jumping across, making sure you're catching. I don't have to go so close now. Just catching the edges of the strips. Hopefully you can see that I don't have my big hand in the way. So here, I want to actually jump over there and catch that edge. I'll just go down and then come up here and catch. I'm going to catch this edge. And I want to come up here. Did I catch? I, didn't, I don't know if I caught that edge. So I'll catch that one, come back up. So I sort of jiggy a bit all over the place. Slowly you can take your pins out. And it actually doesn't take as long as you would think. So before I continue, I will Make sure everything's lying flat. Yep. See, that's all secure there now, those bits. You can see it. I'll just come down. I want to go through the center here. So just sort of eyeball where that is. I'm going to make sure you catch the edge. And then you can come and just do all your edges in here if you want to. If you're feeling like it's not secure enough, you can come and do that after you've just sort of gotten rid of all your pins. Done what you need to do to get rid of the pins. Now here I want to come down to where this edge is.
across this edge. And then I have to jump up and catch that one. But I've run out of thread. So you can see how it's slowly, and I haven't caught that one, so I'll have to come back and do that. So on the back you can see they're long stitches and on the front they're short stitches. So I'll do a tiny bit more. And then the rest of it I'll do off camera. So um, I just wanted to see afterwards. I'll just do a tiny. I need to catch that before I forget. So I'll come back a step myself. I'll come back and do that now. Anyway, I'll come back and do that after. I'm just going to jump across and do this. So with this, I will also do the stitches down the other in the opposite direction as well. Just do a little bit more. back again and you can see how it's sort of all attaching and then when I come down it'll really flatten out more and I've got it I'll do the same stitching all the way up here but I just wanted to I'll zoom you back out again I'm just going to end this off because I can finish that off later um, I just wanted to see what else I might like to add to my piece and I'll probably be able to see it better once I've done all my stitching, but um, just while I've got you on camera, I need to come up higher, sorry. Okay, so let's have a look. I, there's, I don't like, you know, I need to fix up this bit up here as well. So I love this down here, really happy with that, but I'm wondering what I might put up here. So I could take a piece of that, that's gonna to be too much. Um, I did have a piece of, oh, I had this, but I think this is a bit, um, it's a bit glitzy for me. No, it's a bit shiny. I don't like shiny. Um, I don't know why I, I think I, um, 
I did colour it. Don't like that. See, what I don't like is it's in line with the that lace there. So I need something in a different shape. Um, a little, so you could have a little patch of something. Lovely Liberty. Let's just tear a piece of Liberty off and see what we think about that. Wrong scissors. Put it that way. See, I don't mind that. It does blend in a little bit. Um, what else do I have? I have this, but I think I might have already used this. So I do like that. Could have a little piece of that. Maybe going over there. I do quite like that, although I've got two, two sort of features. I could have it up there. Um, or... I could have a piece of this, my printed fabric. Let's just tear. Oh, it's from one of Steffi's kits. Oh my goodness, can I tear it? Yes. It's too big, I could just have this little blue bit. You are determined. Look at that <laughs> poor piece of fabric. But a look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Love that. Don't love those. Yes, I think I'll do that one. Do I want to put it with this one? Even have that like that. No, that's too busy. I'm just going to have this. Do I want it that way? No, because it's it's on that line. So I'm going to put it there. Okay, I've made a decision. And I may not have, you know, like a huge amount of lace in this one. I don't know this time. I, as I haven't decided, you know, what's going to happen with my beautiful... Now, it says it, the prompt was beautiful birds. Obviously, you can do birds or one bird, you know. Um, yeah. Bird, one bird or multiple birds, whatever you decide. So that's going to go there. Um, mm hmm I do love this. I could have a little strip of that. Just that little piece. The curve on there. Anyway, I'll stitch all of this down. And then next week, we will work on the composition. Yep. So this is just the background this week. So um, we are very slow paced. Um, but, you know, for me, you know, I'm pretty busy. So I like going slowly. And... Um, so, yep, this week, just the background. And then next week, we will work on composition. So I hope you enjoy the prompt this month. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.